Oh, I guess it's time for another review. What's up, guys? So, today we're going to be reviewing the Jack Henry's Air Refresh Spray. You guys probably saw James's review yesterday of their clay pomade. Great stuff. But today we're going to take a look at their sea salt spray from their collection. Essentially, I have had the opportunity to try this sea salt spray and then the O'Dowd's and the Palms collaboration of the, what's it called? Emulsify Tail Knight. So my comparison is fairly limited. So if you guys take a look at how it performs with my hair, I think that would say a lot for itself. And then, yeah, we're gonna just do the usual. Gonna see how the Bravo is designed, how it performs with my type of hair, see how it works throughout the day. And for this product, I'm gonna be specifically trying to put on like a couple extra sprays near the end just to see if it like retains its ability to style or like if it's able to fix up like, I don't know, a messy hair day kind of thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at the bottle. The bottle here, fairly simple in design, very minimal. Uh, how to instructions on the back the description of the product and the ingredients. There's not too much to say about it. It's pretty clean. Um, reminiscent of O'Dowd's, I think back in the day, just in terms of the amber kind of jar with the black label, or at least for me, that's how it kind of feels. That's about it. Glass bottle, regular spray. Don't really know much else to say about this. All right, let's go ahead and stop. So typically I use about, I'd say like eight sprays. Um, right now my hair is still somewhat, somewhat wet from my shower earlier, but let's go ahead and try eight sprays and see how it works. I think that was six or seven. And let's do it. Cool. So right now, just feels like I missed it in my hair, but know that in the product itself, it's going to be drying up in a little bit so that it kind of leaves it behind, not so that it leaves behind, but it leaves behind like this kind of residue of, I don't know, it's, it just has some kind of hold right after. I don't know the science behind it, but that's the feeling I get. You guys can use a comb if you want. I'm just using a comb because my hair is hella short and styling has been difficult, especially on just this side because the barber just didn't understand how my hair felt. I went to a new barber, so just try a different cut and essentially this is what I got. I'm excited to see how it grows in, but right now what we want is essentially like a slick back so that everything's even. So as you guys can see, it holds pretty well just off the bat. What I usually do is I'll go ahead and blow dry it just so that the hole really sets in. So let's go ahead and do that. Get that nice kind of loose matte look. Doesn't really look like I just came from the beach, but what you get with the sea salt spray. There's not too many strays whatsoever. Um, overall, I'm very satisfied with what comes from the product itself. It smells fairly nice. It's lemon oil, artesian spring water, sea salt, and witch hazel. Very simple. Um, smells not overpowering. Stability is great. Let's go ahead and test it out throughout the day and see how it endures. But overall, blow dry or not, it's performed fairly well. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Um, I think I'm gonna actually go to the gym and then we'll test it out again. So that's probably the best test for that kind of messy look. Typically when I wake up, I just don't wanna do my hair before the gym. Maybe if I'm trying to impress some girls or like, you know there's a cute girl that goes at the same time I do 
then maybe I'll try using this, then I'll go, see if it lasts, then we'll go ahead, come back and review. Welcome back guys. Not bad. Today was International Chess Day, which is every Monday. You guys didn't know that, get on it. Not a lot of movement today, a lot of sitting, a lot of standing. So in terms of working out, it's not too crazy, but typically I sweat a lot. Um, my hair is still standing, that's a really good sign. I'll say the endurance for this is it's pretty good. A um, bit of loosening up in terms of uh, the slickness. I wouldn't think there would be any slickness given that it's like a spray. But if you guys were to have a need to kind of like clean it up more, I'll just suggest spraying it one or two more times. Um, I typically just like pre combed it or like finger combed it and it's worked out pretty well for me. Why did I say that? But <clears throat> overall, pretty satisfied with how this product is performing for my hair at this stage. Um, didn't think it would hold up this well actually. Um, what I found to be nice about this product is if you were to use it for like day two or three of like using a pomade or like a clay, um, it adds like a nice light hold to it. If you didn't really want to use like an extra day of pomade just because it kind of gets heavy, I don't really shampoo my hair like every single day or like every other day. And typically what I've found is that my hair just gets heavier and heavier and greasier and greasier. So to prevent that from happening, I would just throw in the spray here and there works for me. Pretty happy with how it turns out. Um, gonna test it and see how it works with the clay pomade. I use it like one or two days of the clay pomade and then see how long it lasts with just the spray itself. But as you guys can see, the standalone of the hair refresh spray works fairly well. Um, you guys might have to use blow dryer, but it depends on the type of hair. Uh, that's about it guys. See you next time.